Hey, welcome to LT Turf. My name's Brett, and this is my yard. If you had to choose a celebrity to take care of your lawn for a whole month, who would you pick? Uh, John Stamos. Why? Why not? <laughs> True. <laughs> who wouldn't want John Stamos to take care of their lawn? What's your favorite food? <sighs> macaroni and cheese. Anything specific? No. Any kind of macaroni and cheese? Not, not any kind. So something specific. Well, when you put it that way, yes, I make the best macaroni and cheese oh, ever. Brett Goodyear's macaroni My and macaroni cheese. My macaroni and cheese, which was handed down from generation to generation. Can I have it? No. I'm Brett, and these are the weapons that I use on my lawn. First thing up, we got this bad boy. As you can see, it's got the aftermarket six inch wheels. Uh, and obviously, the bigger the wheel, the better the spreader. Everybody knows that. But this is a Chapin 8. 2050 C and I have no idea what those numbers stand for but this bad boy will hold all the fertilizer all the seed all of the herbicide granules that you could ever dream of as long as it's 70 pounds or less next one John Deere 180B, 18 inches of beautiful stripes. This bad boy comes with the Honda, I don't know what engine it is, but it's a Honda. Uh, this one came with belts pre-broken by Connor Ward and then broken again by me. Um, yeah. Not much else to say about this. It's uh, the best lawnmower that money can buy, other than the next lawnmower, which is a Toro Greens Master 1000. 1000 stands for the amount of horsepower that this has. Uh, obviously, you get an extra 10 horsepower from the Lawn Rebel sticker here on the side. The next thing I have here is what brings all the boys to the yard. This right here is my custom sprayer. I built it from only the finest of material that you can find on the internet. It holds nine gallons of goodness and will do anything that you need. 
You want to water your yard with it? You can water the yard. You want to spray your neighbors? You can spray your neighbors. This thing does it all. What's your favorite TV show? Um, that's a good question. My favorite TV show would have to be Gold Rush on the Discovery Channel. Have to check that one out. I don't know why I like that TV show, but I do. I watch it every week. Who is the YouTuber you could watch mow their own yard, no editing, no, no fast motion, real time? John Ware. Every time. Every time. 100%. Do you listen to music when you're mowing your grass? Uh, the music that my real mower makes. Music to your ears. It is. Oh, hello there. Today I'm here representing the Lawn Care Eye Care Association of America, or as you may better know it, LaKeka. Now, we're partnering with the Salvation Army for Safety Sally Sorority to bring awareness to two majorly important problems in eye care. The first major problem in eye care is that people are not getting their eyes examined frequently enough. So, for example, if any part of this video has seemed blurry to you, you should probably go get your eyes checked because that's the only logical explanation. The second major issue being the severe underutilization of safety glasses among the lawn care community, especially the she shed building community. And this is a major problem because the she shed building community has a large audience and quite frankly, they're setting a bad example. The Lawn Tools have put together a comprehensive review of when safety glasses are needed, and that video will be linked at the end of this video. And in conclusion, from all of us here at LaKeka, make sure to get your eyes checked and wear those safety glasses, folks. And last but not least, obviously, I've got the Ego Powerhead equipped with the power rotary scissors. So you could trim your bushes, uh, you could trim your grass. There's an endless number of possibilities with the Ego Power Head and the power rotary scissors. All right, so uh, then I've got this, which is last and maybe least. Uh, I'm not even really sure what this is, it sits over here, underneath my stairs. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using this. It's not really good for much of anything, except for I put a plow on the front of it to push snow. That's about it, man. And that is a tour of my lawn weapons or tools. What's your spirit animal? Um. Probably a giraffe. No explanation needed. Nope. If you woke up tomorrow morning and I had stolen all of your grass, what do you do? I would be pretty happy. Because then I could do a complete renovation. What grass guy wouldn't be excited about starting from scratch? Because my lawn, I inherited, right? Yeah. This was here when I moved in. So it's not like I put a special blend of Kentucky bluegrass down. Or... What would you What would you put down? Uh, I think I would do perennial ryegrass. I, I think I would do probably very similar to what Ryan Nor did. It looks beautiful, and I just like the way perennial rye feels. All right, you've seen my lawn. You've seen my tools. You've seen my flowers. So now the last thing is for you to get out of here. No, get out of here. What are you doing? Get out of here. Okay, you're gonna have to silence that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my S pin. That sucks, hold on. <laughs> I forgot about that. Here's number three. A beautiful <laughs> view. Give yeah. me that baby. Give me the baby. Oh, because I got her to stop curling. Yeah. yeah. 
Did you start talking to her about the next products? Yes, that's, Is that that's exactly there? what we... Uh, Jeremy's like, well, well actually, reason. RGS contains a blend of <laughs> humic acid and sea kelp. Now, let me tell you about the benefits of sea kelp. He's She's like... It worked like a charm. He's bedlessly. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't working out good. <laughs> Hey, go, start whispering to her about uh, the benefits of dethatch. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so on dethatch, what we have? 